But as fall turns colder, less people are opting for that seat outside. Meteorologist Bridget Mahoney is live in downtown Clayton, where the warm up today had more people enjoying some fresh air at lunchtime. Bridget? Yeah, Mike, you know, today we've seen actually a handful of people out here on the patios. You can see behind me the fire as well as the tents here outdoors at Herbie's. Now, normally people wouldn't sit outside in 40 and 50 degree weather, but the pandemic has changed that. With the nice weather this week, everyone's excited from customers to business owners. It means a lot to be able to have this type of weather in November is a gift. It means paying the bills. Mother Nature helping foot the bill for local restaurants as nice weather brings customers back to the patio. How is it in November? Sitting Chilly. Out? But the chill wasn't stopping some from grabbing a bite curbside. For Herbie's owner Aaron Teitelbaum, this is a relief after already noticing impacts during the fall months. It has dropped us about 30%. Um, from already diminished numbers of, uh, of guests, so we have seen a significant drop. Forcing restaurants to think outside the restaurant. And you have to just come, be, come up and be creative and do whatever you can to be able to survive this, especially with the cases rising, the you know, COVID cases. It's uh, important people want to sit outside. They still want to go out. Curbsides in Clayton lined with tents, propane heaters and fireplaces, making customers more comfortable amid COVID-19. It's safer outside than it is inside and I have my mask. But how cold is too cold? Well, they have these heat lamps here, so I think I think like we planned ahead and get bundled up. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know, maybe below freezing. <laughs> But for now, using the week of 60s and 70s as a bright spot. With the weather, you know, it's kind of a little beacon of hope in a tough week. You know, you put an election on top of uh, on top of what we're going through in COVID. You know, this is a little bright spot for what we're all going to go through this week. And of the three business owners I talked to on this corner in all of our conversations, they mentioned winter. So they are gearing up for a tough, cold next few months ahead. And they want to make sure everyone feels comfortable indoors as well as outdoors. Reporting live in Clayton, meteorologist Bridget Mahoney, News 11.